What I want to do now is take a look at how to add a new browser or remove a browser from Dreamweaver itself. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a page. In order to do that, I click on the Create New HTML here. I'm not going to do anything on the page. It's just going to allow me to get into the document window. So I'll click Create New HTML. Now I did pop into Code View because the last time I had a page open, it was Code View. So I'll move over to Design so you don't get distracted by that code. And notice up here, just to the right of Code Split Design and Live, is a globe. And one of the fastest ways to get to the preview browser area within Dreamweaver is to click on the globe. Now what this is doing right now is showing me which browsers are set up within Dreamweaver. It's also showing me on the right hand side of this drop down what shortcuts I can use on my system to access them. Notice I only have one shortcut set up for Firefox. So what I want to do is customize this piece, and I'm going to go down to Edit Browser List to do that. When I select that, notice I end up in the Preferences area in the Preview in Browser. So I could have gone out to the Edit menu and gone all the way down to Preferences on the Windows side, or the Dreamweaver menu and gone all the way down to Preferences on the Mac side, but this pops me here automatically. Now what I'm going to do is I have Safari listed at the bottom here. And what Dreamweaver does when you install it is plug into the browsers that are on your system. But I rarely have browsers installed before I install Dreamweaver. So not all the browsers get hooked in to that Dreamweaver installation this way. And I think you'll tend to find you'll end up adding browsers after Dreamweaver's been installed. So what I want to do is show you how to remove them in case you need to, and also how to add a new one in. So I'm going to take Safari here down at the end, and I'm going to click the minus. What that does is remove Dreamweaver knowing about that specific browser, which is fine. I just wanted to show you how to remove one. So how can I add it back in if I decide, you know what, I didn't want to remove that or I've just installed a new browser on my system and I want to add it into this list. I also want to modify the shortcut piece. Notice down here under defaults, it says primary browser or secondary browser. Dreamweaver has two built-in shortcuts to get from one browser to another, or I should more properly say, to get from the Dreamweaver design view here directly into a browser window. But let's add a new browser and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to click the plus sign here in the browsers area and what I do is give it a name. Now you can see these were named automatically so I'll go ahead and give it a nicer name. This one's going to say Safari. So the two that were added by Dreamweaver were all in uppercase. I'm not going to worry about that. Now, within this area, I simply browse out to where that particular shortcut is to launch the browser. So I'll click Browse. Now on the Windows side, what I do is go into Program Files. On the Mac side, what you would do is go into the Applications folder to locate this. And notice it popped me right into the Program Files from Dreamweaver. So I'm going to go down and let's see if Safari has its own folder, and it definitely does on the Windows side. I'll open that up, and the one I want is this one with the icon. So just take a look at the icon itself. If you're on the Mac side, as I said, this should have popped you right into the Applications folder on your system. I simply select that and click Open, or double-click it. It pops that shortcut into this area, and I'll click OK. I'm not going to worry about these two defaults quite yet. Now you can see Safari was just added to my Dreamweaver list. Now what I'm going to do is determine what I want set up as my primary and secondary browser. Now I have a couple of options here, but what I'm going to do is set up Google Chrome 
as my primary browser. That's because I'm going to be showing you some CSS3 features and Google Chrome at this point in time anyway, and this tends to change quite often, Google Chrome seems to have adopted the most advanced features of any of the browsers in this list. I have Internet Explorer 8 on my system right now, and clearly that's the least adaptive type of browser. So I'll set Internet Explorer up as my secondary browser. In order to access Firefox and Safari, notice I don't have shortcuts built in, but I'll go ahead and show you how to work with those. So I now have those browsers set up, and what do I need to do in order to work with them? Well, I'll close up my preferences, and notice within this globe area, I have the various browsers. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and take this untitled, I'm going to click on one of these browsers and select it. And notice my shortcuts aren't listed here. That's because I did not click the OK button in the Preferences area. So I can always go back here and set it up, edit the browser list, and just click that OK button at the bottom of the Preferences area. What I'm going to do instead is just go directly to the browser from right here. So in order to lock in those options within the Preferences area, you need to click the OK button once you're done. Now I'll take this lovely page and I'll preview it in Safari. Now Dreamweaver wants me to save my pages before I do that, and that's fine. I'll click Yes. You can see Yes is highlighted. You can change this preference, but I tend to keep it the same way especially if I'm moving into more dynamic pages, drawing from a database, I always want to make sure my page is saved. So I'll go ahead and click yes. It doesn't matter where you save this. I'll just click save. That's fine. And it's going to pop it open in the browser for me. So you can see I went directly to Safari using those options. Now I can do that same thing and open this in any browser right from this globe. This is Google Chrome. This next one will be Firefox. So it's very easy to get from Dreamweaver into your browser of choice simply by selecting this globe. And if your shortcuts have been assigned properly because you went back and clicked the OK button, chose Edit Browser List and clicked OK, you can go ahead and use the shortcuts that are assigned on the right hand side. Notice there's only two that are assigned a shortcut, so I think you'll find yourself accessing this piece right from this globe. Normally you'll have a page open, and that's the page you want to drop right into the browser. Now in addition to working with the globe here, you can also go into the File menu, go down to Preview in Browser, and you can see you have the exact same options here. Since it's a little bit quicker to just click the globe, rather than go out to the file menu. I tend to use this one, but whatever method you want. Just be aware you can only set two shortcuts. So if you have plans to add more than just two browsers, you'll end up using one of those two options in order to get to the other browsers for that specific page. But that is how you can set up your browser list within Dreamweaver. Ultimately, you end up in the preferences area which is this piece here, but the shortcut to get there is to click on this and get to Edit Browser List, pop in the browsers you want, make Dreamweaver aware of where those browsers are located on your system, and you're all set. Thank you for watching Educator.com. See you in the next lesson.